Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a map using Source SDK Hammer Editor. Okay, you're going to start out, you're going to download this right here, and after that's downloaded, you're going to, you know, I just close it, and then you click Hammer Editor. Make sure this is on Counter-Strike Source, and that's on Half-Life Episode 1. Sorry, I didn't mention that when I was up. <laughs> uh, you should come up to a screen that looks a little like this. One second, okay. You click on New. You'll come up to something like this, click on Map, Entity Report, go to, and you should see these two lines show up. After that, you can click on Camera, right there, and then you'll go down to Textured or Shaded Textured Polygons. I never really knew the difference, and I never cared. Um, okay, after that, you are going to start out with a ground, I suppose, if that's what you want. I'm going to choose a simple texture like Concrete. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't really care. I like this one. Sure, why not? Alright, we're going to click on... This is the block tool. You'll use this probably the most out of any other tool. This is, you know, used to make walls and everything. Okay, so you're going to click on your block tool. This is the grid that you're going to see, like, looking above something. This is the grid you're going to see looking to, like, the right or... Uh, it's hard to you could just just you'll see you'll figure it out as, as you uh, go along with it so you start out making your ground you go you know so you want to set your ground about I usually set it about three clicks underneath the um ah oh, jeez I didn't mean to do that <laughs> okay you set it about three clicks underneath the blue line the blue line is basically what this is right here so you, you set it about three right there hit enter here's your ground <clears throat> now you should select a different texture with the wall so you don't get really confused it doesn't matter but it makes your life easier okay so I'm gonna select this one now you wanna make it the wall about two clicks now if you can notice it's a really small block right here compared to your floor so what you need to do is you need to drag this down and you do not want any leaks in this you cannot have I mean it's it's crucial because once you start adding water and you'll start seeing like little blurs in your map and it's it's really bad so just make sure you try to keep it as simple um, grid size okay so you hit enter and then click your block tool again. You do the same thing right here. And you'll notice that the size is also small right here, so you have to adjust this. Hit enter. And you look at that wall. Drag it down. You should be catching along by now. I mean, it's not that hard right here. And then you hit enter and there's three walls. And your final wall. And there's your basically your three walls. Now what do you usually, what you can do is you could throw in a sky box by typing in sky box. You'll know, come up with these oops, I'm sorry. You scroll all the way to the bottom you'll have this tool skybox and you can just basically what you can do is you can make a huge box around this doesn't matter what the size is as long as it surrounds the entire map you hit enter and if you press control H set this to negative 32 this will all be sky ah, this happens a lot there we go this will all be sky and see if you notice these start you know kinda getting that little background view and looking a little better but I'm just going to show you how to make a normal map without the skybox because the skybox is a little more um, involved. After that, what you do is you click on, you set your texture back first. You click, if you, now what you want to do is probably make a roof so you don't have to do the skybox. You can look up how to make a skybox in your own time. After that, you make a roof. Drag it up to wherever you want it. Make sure these are aligned right here. Okay, so you zoom out, um, try to keep it, you know, set your walls beforehand, and then you got your, basically you got your map.
um, after this you can click on this right here which is called the entity tool by clicking on that and then clicking somewhere in the map <clears throat> you set up these people that are generally terrorists now the terrorists can be used for several things you know making weapons setting up things that can you know props so you type in prop underscore detail usually I don't use that usually I use static you can see I have type in for instance a car it will come up with everything that has the word car in it so cardboard box carton of milk Chinese carton food cart and eventually you'd hit a car which is you know what you'd probably be looking for if you type in car <laughs> um, um, it, the way you set up spawns is very simple you just click the entity tool and place them wherever you want them to spawn I mean, you know they can pop up like little bunnies <clears throat> but the only problem is when you make them spawn you have to set them a like at least one block off the ground I mean because you don't want them getting stuck into the ground for some reason this right here isn't good enough for the map and as soon as you spawn you'll be stuck in the ground you won't be able to move and it's just not fun now the way you make counter terrorist is you select you double click the terrorist that you want to be a counter terrorist and you type in counter and you hit apply and ta-da you have yourself a counter terrorist so you should generally set them on the opposite sides of the map and the really easy way to do it is you hit copy and just you know drop them like bunnies wherever you want okay um, now what you need to do is you need to go and set up some walls so as soon as they spawn they don't start shooting each other so I'll just create a little box here um, check that down to the ground zoom out a little here this is something that took me about a month to figure out because no one made a tutorial on and told you how to do this this is these two little buttons right here this is a plus one and a smaller one if you hit minus it makes grid to where you have more area it took me forever to figure it out and I got pissed off when I figured it out because no one told me before uh, and it gets really annoying making stairs without that alright so what we got here is basically two walls a little door and you can prop that out above them and you have a terror spawn generally now what you could do is select this group it I don't recommend this because it gets kinda messy and it's easier just to you know make it to where it's nice and clean and you don't have to worry about it but because I'm in a rush this is what you have to do this is what I would do I would make the same thing on the other side I'd click it once and rotate it drag it into the wall and all of a sudden you have a counter terrorist spawn now you're probably gonna have to make the walls a little higher because you don't want your terrorist spawning or your counter terrorist or terrorist spawning in the roof um... and then you know you can add walls and strategical objects and all that crap uh, i hope this helped later <laughs>